Hey guys, I'm Josh from Lacey Acres. Thank you for tuning in. We are saving the world here, one trailer at a time. A little bit warmer day today here in Aurelia, Ontario. A little bit of snow, but we're gonna persevere. Today, we're gonna look at a 2021 Jayco J Feather model number 24RL. Weighs around 5,600 pounds. We've got a side slide, rear couch, side kitchen, front queen. We're gonna get after it here. Um, we got big, bodacious Brandon on the camera holding that down for us today. Um, we call him Stone Hands because his hands are so steady. Right here, front power jack, 30 pound per paint tanks, and your battery in a box is going to fit in behind here. We have these nice little blue lights here, eyebrow lights built in. We got the clearance lights on today, have a little fun. Pass through stores, it goes all the way through there. We got ourselves our battery disconnect in through here. Shut this bad boy. They are uh, magnets that hold these doors up. City water connection here, black water flush, outside shower, fancy pantsy aluminum rims, guys, with the black accents. Those are Goodyear tires, nitro fill. Uh, good look on the outside, the white, the black, the gray, nice contrast. 30 amp service on this guy. Out, uh, cable and satellite inlet right here. Full size spare, we're gonna put a Lazy Acre tire cover on there for you. Backup camera prep, and then we actually have side mount camera prep on this guy as well. Roof ladder, get up on your roof, check your seals every 90 days. And then we have our propane disconnect down there. No outside kitchen on this guy, but we do have an outside fridge, which is a nice feature. It's a straight electric fridge. Our electric awning starts right here, goes all the way down to the, uh, basically right in front of the baggage door there. Outside speakers, range hood, six gallon gas electric water heater, fresh water fill, uh, fridge vent, furnace vent, and then just a better look at our tires there. We also have these more right steps, which are right secure to the ground, very solid coming in and out. And then there's a nice blue light here that lights up our stair at nighttime. Inside the other side of our pass-through storage, we have the light on and off for the eyebrow, receptacle here, and then a little fancy um, uh, tire pressure monitor, not for tire pressure, a tire pressure gauge right there. Awesome guys, let's have a look inside. We're inside that Jayco J Feather 24RL. Uh, this is, uh, what's this called, Brandon? Oh, it's gray. I don't know. It's what gray. It's called. <laughs> okay. Uh, it's not the farmhouse, it's the gray finish. Uh, I think it's cashmere. Um, looks anyway. great. It looks great, yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm partial to this color. I prefer this over the farmhouse. I just like uh, the gray, the dark. Um, I'm a fan. Right here at the back, you've got yourself a tri fold sofa, rear window as well, with a bunch of overhead storage through here. All right, then we swivel into this gray cabinetry, which is which is what I like. Bunch more overhead cabinetry here, all with glass inlay, which is nice. A couple of kitchen windows, seamless countertops. I know you're not cutting vegetables back here, guys, but you, you can plug your coffee maker in, your blender in, that kind of stuff over there. We got the groundhog style receptacle. Drawers through here, four of them there. And then we got cupboards here down below the sink. Three burner stove top, 22 inch oven, rain should vent above, microwave, even the uh, uh, the fridge has that nice gray finish on it, gas electric fridge here on this one. Looking forward, we got our TV which is now across from our couch which makes sense, radios through here, a little bit of shelf action and then some more storage here down below. They've gotten rid of the carpet right so now we're just the linoleum that's kind of bridging the gap between the slide and the main floor. And then we do have another cupboard right there. Then, a bench dinette, that's also going to turn into a bed. We do have storage built into the bench dinette. And then we have three windows here as well. So we have windows on all three sides of the trailer. It doesn't matter where you are, you're going to have a great view. Awesome. Uh, oh, uh, yeah, we'll hit that at the end here. We're going to come through the washroom. Here's our uh, squat check. Good amount of space here. Toad bear holder. Spot to hang your towels. Shelf, shelf. Bigger sink here actually for a smaller trailer. Cupboard down below. On the farmhouse. Yeah, they do farmhouse here in the bathroom always, which is uh, a nice way to brighten things up. And then uh, into the shower. You know, my head is not really in the sky. I'm almost six feet tall. I can definitely shower in here pretty easily. Um, you know, glass enclosure. What's nice is whatever water's on the inside here, it's gonna end up in the shower basin, which is nice. Now. As we head into the, walk, the bedroom here, I want to point out there's a lot of space here at the foot of the bed. You're not tight here at all, a solid two feet there. We got bedside tables, wardrobe, and then overhead storage here. 
with a nice shelf there above and then some fancy pantsy cubbies in there um, around the corner there. Now, as we, uh, yeah, Brandon can show you that. As we leave the, the bathroom here, I wanna highlight the, the main doors right here. And as we walk in the main door, we get all this storage here for coats and you know pantry items or whatever. Awesome guys, hopefully you enjoyed that video. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel, share with your friends. You can email us here at sales at or you can call us at 705-833-2539. Have a good day.